Okay, hi everybody. I'm gonna walk you through the microscope lab that we're doing this week. If you have not done so already, make sure you watch the first two videos about how to focus and take a picture. The first thing that we're going to do is we're gonna take a letter E. And in this case, I cut it out of a newspaper here. So I'm gonna cut out my letter E. It can be really any letter you want. Letter E is sort of the classic one we use. And we're gonna get that letter E and we're gonna put it on a microscope slide, the big glass piece of slide. And then we're gonna put our letter E on top of that and put a drop of water over that letter E. Um, remember that whatever you're looking at has to be very, very thin. Um, that's why we're using this newspaper because you're using uh, transmitted light. The light has to go through what you're looking at in order to be able to see it. So I have my letter E on there. I'm going to drop my cover slip on like that and then it's ready to go. So now I'm going to take my letter E slide. I'm going to put it on my microscope. I'm going to lock it in place using the stage clips. And when you begin focusing, you're going to want to start on the 4X objective lens. In this case, this is the red one. This is a 4X power lens. So your ocular lens is a 10X, 4X that gives you 40 power. And what I'm doing is I'm using my course adjustment knob to move the stage all the way up. And then while I look through it, I focus it. Um, you might find you need to move the slide to get it right in the middle. And you might notice that when you move the slide forward and you look through the microscope, it actually moves backwards. So things are inverted. This is what my letter E looks like um, on low power here on the 4X, I should say, which is really the scanning lens. So you should see something that looks like that. If you pick a bigger letter E, it may not fit in the field of view, which is okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm switching to my 10X. So if I just turn my objective lens nose tube to the 10X, um, it should be focused. And you'll notice I'm just using the fine focus now. This is what my letter E looks like under 10 power. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take a hair. And in this case, I just, I plucked one right out of my head and I put it on the slide like that. And once again, I'm going to get a cover slip. Um, and you're going to want to put a drop of water over that hair there. Cause that holds the, it helps pull the uh, cover slip onto the hair. Um, so I'm going to put uh, onto the slide. So I'm going to put my cover slip on there and it's ready to go. And once again, I put it on the stage. I start on the four X, um, objective lens that you can see there. I'm going to turn the stage all the way up using the course adjustment knob all the way up. And that way when I'm focusing, there's only one way to turn it. And this is what my hair looks like from my head on a 4X. And then once again, if I have it focused on the 4X, I should be able to turn it just to the yellow one, the um, to the next objective lens. And then just using fine focus, I ought to be able to focus it on that, on the 10X objective, which is 100 power that you're seeing there. 10X ocular lens, 10X objective gives you um, 100 power in that case. I also took a hair from my dog that I found laying around the house. That's what that looks like. And I took a, a parakeet feather from my parakeet sunshine. And that's what that looks like there. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm taking um, an onion. And what you do is you cut a piece of onion. We use the red onion because it gives you the best looking cells. And you have a concave side on the inside of the onion. And I'm going to peel a layer off just with my fingers. And you're going to want to wash your hands after. You don't want to get um, any of that juice on your eye there uh, or anything like that. So wash your hands off really good and put your onion away. Put your onion on the slide. Um, and once again, when you, when you peel it off, the actual, the best part is when you peel it off slowly, the very thin part. And so this is on 4X. This is my onion cell here. And just like we did before, once you have it focused on that, I can simply turn my objective lens to the 10 X and using just the fine focus, I ought to be able to focus on that. And you can see the nucleus actually in that one 
uh, right there, a good view of the cell wall and the nucleus of my onion cell. That's what it should look like. Okay, now uh, for the last one, I'm going to use a human cheek cell. So I get one of my sticks or a toothpick um, out of my kit and I'm gently gonna scrape the inside of my mouth and I'm gonna put that right on my slide like that. Now, these will end up being clear. Um, you wanna throw that in the trash when you're done. Um, but, so you need to stain them. Now, in this case, I used red food coloring and the best way to do it is to use a drop of water and put a couple of drops of food coloring in and then use that diluted solution on top, put a cover slip on, and this is what you see. They look like fried eggs uh, on low power. This is them on uh, a little bit higher from 4X to 100X there. You can see the cells there. So hopefully that gets you started um, on the lab. And um, when you try to answer your questions, you might wanna go back and look at the video again, because I mention things about the transmitted versus reflected light and the motion uh, when you move the slide forward or backwards. If you didn't catch those, those are in the video that you just watched so you can answer those questions on your worksheet. So those are in the worksheet answers um, if you watch the video.